Penn State freshman tight end Pat Fryermuth has had a successful freshman year, and coach James Franklin talks about his maturity during an October press conference. By Pat Fryermuth's first choice wasn't to wear no. 87 at Penn State. When the tight end arrived in Happy Valley last summer, number 89 wasn't available, and he didn't want no. 88 for fear of being linked to Mike Jasicki his entire career. But as a result, the Massachusetts kid is being compared by his high school buddies at the Brooks School to not only an NFL tight end, but one of the best, if not the greatest, to ever play the position, former New England Patriots star Rob Grankowski. When I ended up with no. 87, I told my friends, and the whole thing back home blew up. Fryermuth said during a Tuesday conference call, his first time speaking with reporters after completing Penn State's freshman media training. Obviously I want to be my own individual and play my own game. But if I were to be compared to someone, I wouldn't be mad that it's Gronk, added Brooks School Dean of Students Willie Waters, the grand comparison around here is common. We have nothing like him. And personality-wise, he's not all that different. But he's got a long way to go to be the best tight end ever in the NFL. Still, after a breakout freshman campaign, Fryermuth's future is bright, almost grunk level bright. In 2018, Fryermuth's eight touchdown catches led the team and ranked second in college football among tight ends, behind only Texas A. The 6'5 target found the end zone more times than Iowa's Noah Fant and TJ Hawkinson, both of whom are likely first-round picks in the 2019 NFL Draft. He was selected to freshman All-America teams by ESPN, USA Today, The Athletic and 247 Sports and landed on Sports Illustrated's all team after catching the only tight end touchdown of the postseason against Kentucky in Orlando. Oddly enough, Grankowski posted a similar freshman stack line at Arizona. He recorded two more catches, 28 to 26, 157 more yards, 525 to 368, and two fewer touchdowns in 2007. Like Fryermith, Grankowski was a freshman All-American and an honorable mention All-Conference pick. And as a sophomore, Grank increased his production in all three categories. Fryermuth is striving to do the same in 2019. The rising sophomore utilized winter workouts, adding to his already imposing frame. He now stands at 262 pounds, 2 pounds heavier than Grankowski was as a sophomore in 2008. From a mental standpoint, the Nittany Lion said he studied coverages and understands how to run cleaner at the top of his roots. I think he can only get better after working super hard this offseason, Penn State safety Garrett Taylor said. I've seen him put in the extra work in the weight room and getting extra reps on the field. I definitely think he's going to help the offense more than he did this past year. That ought to concern defenses. Taylor, who has battled Fryermuth one-on-one in camp, called the tight end a matchup nightmare and said the pass catcher already knows how to nimbly get in and out of breaks. Any improvement in that category is a bonus. And so, too, will be the added experience of playing another year. Entering his freshman campaign, Fryermuth didn't know he'd start. It was understood that he'd challenge John Holland, Nick Bowers and Danny Dalton for time. But that was really the only guarantee. In Fryermuth's words, I just wanted to make an impact. And he did, swiftly rising up the depth chart. Fryermuth emerged first as a blocker, excelling at what he identified Tuesday as a lost art. The tight end moved bodies at Pitt in Week 2, high pointed a Trace McSorley pass for a 23-yard gain against Kent State and scored his first career touchdown in Illinois after earning the distinction of co-starter. A week later, Fryermuth found out he would make his first career start against Ohio State. The first thing that came to my mind was the whiteout. It was crazy, the tight end recalled. But I knew I prepared myself and did the work to live up to being a starter. It worked out pretty well for me. 
Despite Penn State losing to the Buckeyes, Fryermuth wowed with a one-handed touchdown catch, one that caught the attention of not only Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreit, but the 100,000-plus packed in at Beaver Stadium. Fryermuth continued his tour at pace, racking up seven touchdowns in conference play, most of any tight end and on par with stud-wide receivers such as Alabama's Henry Ruggs, Texas's Lil Jordan Humphrey and Oklahoma's CeeDee Lamb. And now, after hauling in an 18-yard score at the Citrus Bowl, he looks to keep that momentum going into 2019. And who knows, maybe he'll take the next step toward becoming Grandkowski's replacement. Fryermuth's old high school teammates tweet about the Patriots eventually drafting him, and of course, the Penn State tight end sees those messages. But I'm not focused on that. Fryermuth said, I'm trying to continue the tradition of tight ends here, 